sorry for Noddy, Homo sapiens, he's here to steal your time and space, especially if you're a non-human mammal, shows a study published in the journal Science. We know that human beings are an apex super predator capable of driving other animal species to extinction by encroaching on and destroying their wild habitat space. Now, a new data set from studying 62 species across six continents shows that because of human daytime disturbances like hiking, mining, urban development or agriculture, animals are increasingly being forced to shift their waking and foraging hours into the night, the time of the day when do not disturb signs hang ironically on our doors. Unlike human beings, it's mine, you understand? Mine, all mine! Plants don't ask for much. Just give them some sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, and they're happy. And now, researchers are finding that they can make do with even less. Plants have generally been known to use chlorophyll A to absorb visible red light for photosynthesis. But scientists studied cyanobacteria called acariochloris and understood that they're able to photosynthesize using light that is so weak that we can't even see it, called infrared. Scientists say this opens up new possibilities for imagining plant life growing on other planets that thankfully may be too dark for humans to colonize. We'd better hope that there won't be a superhuman species in the future, because they could wipe us homo sapiens out. Because that's just what humans do to close members of our ape family, a study has shown. After researchers examined the 2300-year-old skull of a gibbon that went extinct in the 18th century, Chinsu Imperialis was likely the pet gibbon of Lady Xia, who was the grandmother of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Historical records show that the ancient Chinese thought of gibbons as noble and gentlemanly and blessed with spiritual powers. Today, due to deforestation, destruction of habitat and hunting, gibbons have become the rarest primates on earth. Hmm, 